why and when to use a bottle? Well, muddy water conditions, anytime the fish are shallow, those are the two times I love to use a bobber. Let's talk about my rig right here. Now, one of my favorite rods, when I'm using braid, folks, or it's my favorite right now, is a sow belly rod. Sow belly. Fella in Huntsville, Alabama makes them. It's six and a half foot long, light action. Now, as far as braid, I like to use eight pound test braid. Uh, this is a Fago 2500, eight pound braid. Now, as far as the leader, I've got a lot of fluorocarbon, so, but my choice is six pound test, whether it be fluorocarbon or mono. You could use high-vis mono as far as uh, attaching to your braid, and that's a double uni knot. And personally, I like to use just as small as a bobber as I can possibly get by with. Offers little resistance when a fish strikes and he pulls the bobber down or cork, he don't feel anything. And this jig right here is a 132nd ounce, or it was. But what I do, and this is important, especially in muddy water. What I do, let me just pull this jig back. Is I wrap dental floss all the way around the shank of the hook. In other words, I, if there's any lead, lead on my jig heads, I cut it off. Now the reason why I do that, let me take this off. As you can see, it's almost in a horizontal position. Just almost, and that's tied with a loop knot. But when you rig this jig back on the hook, it'll be perfect horizontal in the water because this plastic, I float that jig up just like a minnow swims very very important and that's where that loop knot comes in in this application comes in i mean you don't i don't want to tie direct to an eyelet never not when i'm fishing under a float because it is a presentation a vertical presentation that is deadly in muddy water especially lakes it's relatively clear and all of a sudden a big influx of water runs into your lake and all of a sudden it's muddy well the crappie's not used to that they're not used to that at all especially in a clear lake so when the fish are up shallow it is very important very very important to have this cork adjusted where it's right in front of that crappie's face that takes time it takes effort crappie feed up but now they can't feed up if they can't see it in muddy water so you need to be an inch or two from the level that these fish are suspended that's what takes time sometimes it takes me a couple hours to achieve that believe it or not but it's very, very important. An inch or two makes a difference. To me, pink, like this two inch slab tail bait here, sharp truce, solid centered white, which creates a hue in the water. Anything with red, uh, maybe sharp truce and black, solid gold or golden sharp truce. Is a, is a great combination. My, 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 folks, it's foggy. And it's not too cold. The, the temperature right now is 53 degrees, air temperature. Uh, but it is muddy. This water is real high and muddy, just like I thought it would be. I'm just idling through here because a lot of times when this happens, they can be submerged logs that's waterlogged that's been washed off the banks and just floating uh, in my life i've hit three of those 
and I burnt one lower unit by doing that. And I hit it so hard, <laughs> not in this boat, but in a, a lot bigger boat, faster boat. I was going probably about 60 mile an hour, 55, and hit that, and I went over. The only thing that saved me was the trolling motor. I wrapped around the trolling motor. So ever since then, I'm real careful conditions like this. We have a treetop right out here in front of us, setting off in about six feet of water. I'm just going to cast to it close to the limbs, close to the trunk, and what I'm going to do is just barely move that float and let it sit there. Barely move it and let it sit there. Just like that, real slow. Pull it a few inches and then there's another fish. This is a good fish right here. That's what we're gonna have to do to catch them. I'll net this one. That's a good crappie right there. There he is, right there. That's what we're gonna have to do. That's a slab. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to get away from this treetop. Water's this shallow, you're just gonna have to get away from the from whatever you're fishing and use that trolling motor just as less as you possibly can. You can see it's dead calm flat. So it will, it don't take much to spook these fish out of this shallow cover like this, but that's a good one. That's what it's gonna take to catch them. That's what kind of move they're in. The water clarity's terrible. I keep mentioning that. And remember, pink is a great color. And that style of jig, Let's put this crappie in here. That style of jig is perfect for this color of water. And there's some other colors I'm probably going to use. But a slab tail bait, if you'll look at the jig, you see that? That loop knot enables that jig to stay horizontal. It'll let it right, that plastic will float it up horizontal like that. That loop knot enables that to happen. And that, that tail there, when I move it, it's just gonna do like this. It looks real. Took a while, but I figured it out. Let's catch another. Now right now, <clears throat> what I'm doing, I'm more or less letting the ripples do the work for me. I just got a bite right there. He didn't commit. But just the ripples is enough in this muddy water to get the strike because you want to keep that bait in the strike zone just as long as you possibly can, folks. There he is. That's another good crappie right here. Golly, that thing is. I can't tell y'all how this one's fighting. This is a good fish. Or he's just mean one. It's a good fish. Let's flip him in here. Golly, what a thick back on that fish. My, my, my. Is that not a good one? That's a good one to eat. Well, we got three good ones. Good fish. There he is. Golly. Man, oh man. I missed him once, folks, and made another cast or two and then caught him. Let's see what he looked. That's a good one. Good. Oh, what a crappie. Well, 
we're putting them in the boat. That's what counts. My, 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 my. Let's put him in the bucket. Okay. Slow and patient. I keep mentioning that, and I know that's probably getting aggravating, folks, but that's what it's taking out here. Real slow. That water is chocolate milk. And that, that's the thing about fishing. Fishing is just basically patience because, you know, when you're fishing, especially conditions like this, um, it takes a great deal of patience in understanding that sooner or later, if you keep your bait in the right place at the right time, you'll get bit. There he is. That's off a different tree right here. Let me tighten my drag up just a little bit. This is a good one. They're all good. Quiet. All right, let's flip him in. That's another black crappie. That's probably all that's back up in here is black crappie. It's a good one. When I do get bit, like I said, folks, it's a big one. I heard something in the woods and they're popping, cracking trees walking. I don't know what it were, but I know one doggone thing. I'm going to get out of here, man. I don't like creepy stuff like that. There he is. <clears throat> That's a good one right here. This is a good one. This is a slab right here, folks. This is a big son of a gun. Unless he's fooling me. I can't see him because the water's so doggone muddy. No, nah, this is a big crappie. We'll net him. My, 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 my. Look here, what a crappie. Golly, bum. Man, oh man. Oh man. Woo. Look at there, what a slab, folks. That fish right there is probably close to 15 inches long. Let's put him in the bucket. All right, folks. We ended up, let's t check them out in there. We ended up catching enough for Mama Sue to eat. Uh, there's some pretty good crappie in there. That's a slab right there. Quit. You quit that. That's a, that's a big fish right there. My goodness. And there's another one in there that's that big too if I can find him but anyway most of them's just eating size I really don't like to keep them big ones like that they don't taste near as good to me but mama likes them so that's all that counts yeah all right folks that's going to be the end of it I feel blessed today I count the water being so muddy and still being able to catch mama sue some fish that was something that I had to do maybe I'd I just done it because I knew that I did. <laughs> I needed to bring some fish home, and it made me fish a little bit harder, probably. But uh, muddy water conditions are tough to fish in, especially if your lake is relatively clear, and all of a sudden it gets muddy, a kind of a, a big influx of water, rain, and that's what happened here today. So chartreuse and pink or great muddy water colors, as y'all see. Um, a tube jig is always a good choice. I mean, no matter what color water you fish in, you know, there's different colors of tubes. But a sharp truce tube 
is like that right there when it comes to muddy water and pink yeah pink could get it done too anyway i want to say god bless each and every one of y'all thank y'all for all the great comments and hey oh gosh put these down because them's expensive <laughs> And remember, go fishing if you can, because it's good.